Hello, and welcome to Avio's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show right here is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is Wednesday, December 7th. It's great to have you here. Um, I want to talk to you today about something that I mentioned last video that I wanted to chat with you, and that is on the promoted gigs on Fiverr and how the pricing on the promoted gigs can make the difference between you getting work and not getting work, okay? So um, as you may know, Fiverr has um, a... They've got they started these promoted gigs, meaning like you can actually pay um, on Fiverr in order to have your gig show at the top of a page. OK, and that, you know, the idea is, is giving people everybody a chance uh, to get, you know, more work when you get to a certain level on Fiverr, you know, you can boost or promote these gigs and. What Fiverr offers is they offer two different types of setup through these promoted gigs. Now, real quick, in order to qualify for these gigs, I think you have to be at least level one. And your gigs themselves have to have a certain criteria, like have had to have a certain amount, uh, a certain number of voice or voiceovers or, or um, uh, jobs that have gone through it. OK, so but once that pops up, Fiverr will let you know, hey, you can uh use this gig to be promoted. So they offer two things. They've got a promote with no cap um, up to $3. Now, this is um, their automated uh, one where they, you know, they automate it for you. And it only goes up to $3. By the way, there's nothing that you can uh, do on Fiverr more than $3. Okay, so there's that. Now, the second one all right, is promote with a customized cap. So basically, when you go on to this page, it'll say, hey, do you want to promote this gig? You'll click the little button, and it'll say, great, this is promoted. Then it'll ask you how, you know, what do you want the cost structure to be? Well, it's a bidding structure, except it caps at $3. So first off, no matter what you do, it'll be never, your click will be never more than $3. However, to this date, I have found that Fiverr does not, um, or they have not, at least for voiceover, gone up even, you know, over a dollar. Like, I've never had a click over a dollar. Now, it's getting closer. Um, uh, it's getting closer. Like, my one um, my one gig is averaging uh, about 80 cents, 80, 81 cents, my main gig, my professional American male voiceover one. But anyways, to, in order to determine which one of these to choose from, in order to get the most work, um, I've played around with both of them. And I find that the one that you want to use is the promote with the customized cap, okay? And I set that at uh, $3. I set it at the limit. Now, again, I've never had clicks that have gone to $3 or have gone over a dollar yet, but I set it that high, and I don't set it at the automated one because I always want to be higher. I want to be shown more than anyone else. Okay. Now you could argue that you know maybe you toy around with it and you don't get you know, you don't spend as much money and you make more money, and that that's the dream, right? But I find the reality is is that I get so many more I think promoted gigs because I am you know, willing to bid higher than people. And I always say, as long as I'm doubling, tripling how much I spend, and I usually at least triple how much I spend, then it is worth it to me. Um, so especially after the 20% that Fiverr takes, it's worth it. So I, I find that the promoting with a customized cap, I set it at $3 and I set my daily budget at $50. Now, again, I want to point out, I never actually get that high, <laughs> okay? But um, I never even close. But I again, I find that it's a it's a very valuable tool for me to use in order to grow. Now, even though Fiverr recommends promoting with no cap, like promote with no cap, me they're they're going to promote it for you automatically, best best based on the top bid. But I just found that the customized one seems to work so much better for me. I seem to get just more traffic, more work on it, okay? 
And um, so I, I totally recommend using that one. And I really do recommend using the promoted gigs. I think there's a value there. Now, there's a couple things. You might be far along in your journey and you have all of your gigs are be are able to be promoted like mine. I found that I was spending a lot more money promoting a lot of gigs and some of my gigs weren't getting anything, like any business, but they were getting clicks. Whereas some of my gigs... They get clicks and they get business. So I stopped promoting some of my my gigs that were not getting business to save money. So now I'm only promoting, I think, like three gigs. Um, and, you know, my other gigs do bring in impressions and they bring in clicks and they bring in messages and things like that, which is vital. But the majority of my work now goes through just a couple of gigs. Um, and I find that spending money on the gigs that are going to make money, like I want to spend money on gigs that get clicks and get work, not get clicks and people decide not to go with them. Now, if you're getting clicks and you're not getting work, that's probably an indication that something either needs to be changed on the gig or something's not quite working right. There's something broken in there. Um, uh, you know, if it, and I'm talking about data over time. I'm not talking about you're just starting out and, you know, I mean, you're still you're still building a base. But if you have done this for a while over time, you know, you'll you'll realize that there are after a while you'll see patterns and trends and you'll be able to identify this as if I'm getting all these clicks and I'm not getting work, something's there or I'm getting all these impressions and I'm not getting clicks. Something's there. Something's causing that, which is why, again, I love Fiverr and the data that they supply. But anyways, I just wanted to come on today and tell you that's what I'm noticing is working for me. And the promoted gig section is the promote with a customized cap. And like right now, it's telling me if I do like 59 cents, all right, or if I stay higher than 59 cents, I'm going to be competitive. Well, I have mine at $3, right, which is the highest I can go. I want to be that competitive. But here's, the, here's just another little tip, though. Remember as well, Fiverr doesn't keep going after $3. So that means that if all of us did $3 or, or a lot of us bids the same, all right, how do they determine who gets shown and who doesn't get shown? Well, then it goes back to Fiverr rotating ads, rotating people. Then it goes back to, well, what's your, you know, how relevant is your ad? Then it goes back into the algorithm. So I do find that I'm trying to take as much out of that, you know, getting back into the algorithm as possible and just capping it as much as I can. Because, and, and like the truest form, like for example, um, Google, you know, that can go, that can keep going. <laughs> three, four, five, 10, 20, 100, a thousand. It does sometimes go for those leads and clicks in a lot of different places. So, you know, but Fiverr doesn't do that. And I think a lot of people do get nervous and rightly so, because they don't want to be like spending all this money and just lose this money and not make any money. But just don't forget, you've got to spend money. You've got to spend time in order to make money and to get more time. Okay, it's like that reaping, you know, it's a sowing and reaping, right? You've got to sow these things in order to reap them. But I find that at this point for me, that works the best. Hopefully this helps you um, and which one to pick and maybe it'll help pick up. Even though it says recommended by Fiverr, you do the promote with no cap. I find the customized cap works a lot better. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit that like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Avio's Journey Elite Academy. We just launched Academy Voices. I'm super excited. Uh, traffic is starting to grow. We've been building out more pages for more voice actors in the Academy. Um, and being on, on Academy Voices, you can be on those also by you know being in Avio's Journey Elite Academy. We're offering the first month for 50% uh, off. We'd love to have you check it out uh, and get in on the ground floor. But the Academy itself you know, is, is incredible. Um, with all the learning and teaching to help you start and grow your voiceover business uh, no matter where you are. So thank you guys so much for watching. You have a wonderful Wednesday. I will talk to you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.